How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush How To. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a tier 3 wash plant. So that is going to be a bad boy that's basically going to sit around here and it's going to be beautiful. So over on this side, we have got our little water pump. We have got a generator. We have got some splitters. We have got a magnetized separator. We've got a wave table and we've also got a nuggetator. So this is like our final clean out area. If you want to know how to set this up, go check out some of the previous uh, videos in this series. I did explain how to do all of this. Uh, the only thing that I haven't showed yet was a gold nuggetator, but there's no point in doing a complete video just on that. It is very simple. Instead of taking your miners, moss, and that good stuff and rinsing them in buckets manually, you put all of them in here, you hit a button over there, and it cleans everything out for you. Simply hooks up with power on the side here and water on the side here, and you're good to go. So very simple and a very, very nice piece of equipment to have. Really speeds up the process of clean out. So First things we need to do, or first thing we need to do, is head into town. And um, we've got a lot of equipment to buy. So, yeah, let's let's get going. All right, so we are over at the heavy equipment store. And just a quick thing, some of the equipment that I'm about to buy you might already have, one of which would probably be an excavator. Um, but you do have options here. So, if you're going to either rent a drill or buy a drill and drill your property and you want to target gold pockets, I would say go for the big excavator. If you are like me and you just want to move a lot of dirt, then go for the front loader. That's generally what I use. Um, either way, with either of them, the easiest thing to do is get a dump truck as well. Um, in fact, you can get a few of them. I, I normally have about three of them. But this obviously depends on money. So for the purposes of today's video, we are just going to get a big excavator. So again, if you've already got a big excavator, just disregard that. Uh, we are going to buy a dump truck, uh, which at this stage you probably wouldn't have yet. But if you can afford it, then make sure to get that. The next thing we are going to need is a trommel. So we're going to grab one of those. We are going to need a ST sluice box, one of those. We are going to need a rock sluice box. We are going to need two duplex jig sluice boxes. We are going to need, well, you don't actually need this. Um, so the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt hopper, you can actually operate without this. Um, but if you're going to be running dump trucks, then definitely get this. It just makes the whole operation a lot simpler. So these two pieces of equipment is definitely optional. You can get away without them. Um, if you're running a dump truck, you can dump sort of close by and then use your excavator to shovel into the shaker. But definitely recommend getting this. Again, another thing that is optional is a big fuel tank. You can get away with a small fuel tank. But it is just very handy to have the big one um, on site. The next thing you're going to need is a shaker. So we're going to get one of those. We are going to need duplex jigs. We're going to need two of those. And then we are going to need uh, one more thing. Which is the big generator. There we go. Big power generator. So we're going to grab that. I don't think we need anything back here. As far as I can remember, this is all of your bit more fancy equipment. So we'll have a quick look. Nope, everything's good. So that is basically your upgraded equipment back there for the most part. But this is everything we need right now. So we're going to go to checkout. That is $475,000. So it's definitely not cheap. And then we are going to move all of this equipment over to our claim. And this is going to cost a pretty penny as well. I'll tell you that much. And that's a lot of equipment. Right. Last one. That's $17,200 in transport. So move your machines. There we go. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. I think that all moved over. 
Um, which is fantastic. So next place we need to go is the part shop. All right, we are over at the part shop. And if you haven't got a trailer yet, this is the time to get one because you're really going to need it because we have got a lot of stuff to buy. And um, so I'm just going to use an example here. What I'm going to do just for simplicity's sake is if we want to buy let's say jerry can i'm going to show you and tell you the quantity to buy i'm going to click back but you're going to click add the reason for that is there's limited space outside so the game will only allow you to put a certain amount of products into your cart you will then have to buy that load it up and come back in and buy some more stuff load it up until you basically fully load it take it back to the claim come back and buy the rest of the stuff so yeah it's not going to allow me to put everything into the cart and in one go so i'm just going to click back um, you need to click add so you're definitely going to have multiple trips up and down trying to get all of this stuff up to the claim but first thing you're going to need is a big diesel water pump so you're going to buy one of those buy the diesel one not the electric one because the electric one breaks constantly that motor over there that thing breaks permanently so don't bother with that it's more expensive as well the diesel one is awesome so just buy that so next thing you are going to need is over here you're going to need hog pan pump you're going to need two of those unless you still have your tier one wash plant over at the claim then obviously you'll have one of these over there so then you only need to buy one and um, so and that's sort of the point of this as well is by this stage you might have some excess stuff lying around your claim maybe some excess pipes or cables or things like that if you do then just deduct that from the quantities that i am telling you to buy but hog pen pump you're going to need two of those then the hog pen mats you are going to need eight of those the hog pan sluice box core you are going to need two of those the extension you're going to need two of those then you are going to need some cables so you get seven meter cables four meter cables and five meter cables the ones you want to go for is the five meter cables because you can do just about everything with the five meters so don't bother with the other ones you are going to need four of them so next thing you are going to need is over here is your miners grill you're going to need six of these you are also going to need sluice box grates you're going to need four of these you are going to need miners moss and you're going to need 12 of them yeah that's a lot so you're going to need 12 of the miners moss then you're going to go over here to cope with all of that miners moss um, and buy yourself a big transport crate um, so you can throw all of that and all of these little hog pan mats in there and it makes it a lot easier to carry around you don't have to carry them one by one so next up you are going to need high voltage power cables so the ones with the blue ends you're going to need four of those then you are going to need low voltage power cables the yellow end ones you're going to need two of those then over on the water side you are going to need thin water hose you're going to need two of those you are going to need fat water hose the red one you're going to need two of those you are going to need huge water hose two of those then you are going to need one of these huge water splitters you're going to need one of those and you're going to need a normal water splitter one of those the last thing that you're going to need is a huge amount of buckets by this stage especially if you were running the mobile water uh, plant there or the mobile wash plant that i am assuming you probably did when you're up to this point you will probably have a load of buckets so if you've got like a lot of buckets then don't bother if you don't have that many just add another i don't know 10 or so you're always going to need a bunch of buckets and um, so that is that so again that is going to take multiple trips up and down to get all of that bought and moved and um, so i'm going to do that real quick and i'll see you guys back at the claim and show you how to set all of this up
All right, as you can see, we are back at the claim and everything that we ordered has been delivered. And over here, everything that we bought at the part shop, I have brought back to the claim. So that is fantastic. I just dumped it all over there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick how we're going to move this equipment around. So I've moved the excavator over to our big generator here. And I've got our cables over here. So grab a cable and there's four attachment points on this bucket and you're going to look for the attachment points on the equipment that you're trying to move around and just hook it up to there and you're going to do that on the other side as well there's four hook points on everything that we've got over here and you lift it up with the excavator and just move it where you want to move it so top tip if you max out the boom going upwards and it's still not high enough open up your bucket and that would give you a lot more clearance um, at the bottom it really does lift it quite a bit more uh, which is fantastic another thing to take note of is there is a setting um, in the settings menu that is something like easy placement so for the purpose of this tutorial i have got that turned on which means i just need to get get every piece of equipment sort of close by to where it needs to go and it'll snap into place automatically if you have easy placement turned off you will have to be a lot more accurate in your placement and also uh, whatever you're placing needs to be facing the right direction so just keep that in mind so what we are going to do now is i'm going to drop you guys into a time lapse and we are going to get all of this set up and then we'll come back and do the final plumbing and electricity um, one other thing before i forget is that big diesel tank over there and this generator you do not need to place it where i place it those are the two things that you can sort of place wherever you want uh, just try and keep it sort of close to that area just to make it easy to operate turn the mine on and off and um, yeah if your cables or pipes are a little bit short you can at the part shop buy some extension pieces where you can link pipes and cables together to make the whole system work so effectively with these two things you can do whatever you want but anyway let's get into that time lapse and um, yeah get this thing assembled so we have got everything in place and um, as you would have seen i decided to put my big generator over here it's a weird place to put it but it does actually work pretty well and i've also got my big pump over here so that's the first thing we are going to do we are going to grab a big pipe um, connect that to the in port and then we are going to run down here through here stretch this pipe a little bit and there we go that should be enough to get us into the water beautiful right so we've got water these big pipes do not take a filter like the tiny red ones do uh, so you don't need to worry about that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our big water splitter and stick it over there grab our other big pipe go onto the out port and we'll run it right around here into that beautiful next thing our small splitter We'll put that somewhere around there, I think. That'll be good. Grab one of our red hoses and connect that up. So I'm going to go into the second port there and run that into there. Fantastic. And we're also going to grab our second red hose and it'll be easier to start on this point. This is going to go into the shaker. So we're going to connect that into there. We are going to jump down here and hopefully not get stuck beautiful 
and connect that into there. So I just run it down there because it's sort of out of the way and it clears this space up a little bit up here. So the next job we need to do is sort of build everything down here. So um, we have got our little hog pan setups. So as we had in tier one. So we're going to set all of that up. Grab the little boxes. Stick them on there. Stick that one on there. The extensions. Put all of that in. And there we go. That looks pretty good. So all we need now is our mats. Four on each side. There we go. Another four on this side. Beautiful. All right. Now, next thing is our moss mats. And we're going to come up here and there is six on each side. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Grab our crate. Jump over that. And that was a very weak jump, right? That's fine. We'll just walk around. Sometimes you can make the jump. Usually you can make the jump. There we go. Right. We've got another six to put in here. And this is where a lot of the good gold comes from. This is money right here. So very important. So put that. Grab that last one. There we go. Stick that in there. We can get rid of the crate for now. So next thing we need to do is our grills very important so we're going to stick them over there these grills make sure you know where you put them down because they are very hard to see um if you put them down in a weird spot they can be very hard to find again so yeah three on each side beautiful and there we go right next up are these things sluice box grates so there's four of them and they all go up in here. And these do pretty well on gold. Not too bad at all. Definitely worth having. So all of these eventually add up to some pretty efficient mining. All of these different, basically, filtration systems is what it comes down to. All right, so we're going to have four of these. So these are the ones that you will be using your little shovel with um, to shovel them out into buckets. And that's why we have a bucket over here. We're going to jump up here. And we're going to put our bucket in there. So basically, you leave your bucket there and you take your shovel and you shovel that into the bucket there and take that bucket up to your clean out area. And um, yeah, some, some good gold in there. We've got some more buckets down here. They go into the bottom of the duplex jigs. So there's four of them. Two on each. There. And there. All right. So now what we need to do is get all of this connected up. So we've got our little splitter here. We're going to need our small hoses. This is basically like normal garden hose. Um, connect that up to there. Run it down. I always try and sort of get it through that little gap there. Just so it looks neat and connect it up to there. Uh, that did not work at all. If that does bother you, uh, it normally bothers me. You can just wind it up a little bit and there we go. Beautiful. Right. Next one. I just like to try and keep things neat. I'm trying to do this obviously as quickly as possible for you guys so you don't sit here all day. Um, but you can spend some time on this and make it really, really neat. Right, beautiful. That is connected up. So that is water effectively done. Next thing is electricity. So we will start with the two little yellow hoses. And um, this is the tricky part is getting this into there. There we go. That is connected up, I think. Yep. Just drop that. Right. So this goes to the duplex jig. I'm going to try and get it through that gap again. Yeah, that works. All right. So that is one. And we've got one more to connect up to the, the duplex jigs. And this is quite interesting because it'll actually label it on there and on the inside. Um, it will label 
what it is um, that is connected to that port. So that is pretty cool. So that one goes on to that one. So that is done. Next up is going to be our bigger cables. So there is one that's on the hopper of the conveyor system. So we're going to drop down here with it. And let's stick that into there. Second one is going to go into the conveyor itself. So in there. Run it across here. So again, I just like to run everything around the back here because it just keeps it out of the way and keeps it neat. Uh, that did not connect. There we go. All right. So two more to go. The next one is over here on our shaker. So run that down here as well. Into there. And then the final one goes into the trommel. So very straightforward from there into, but don't drop it into there. All right, uh, we can actually just to just let it drop down. There we go. All right, so that should be that. So if we turn this on, we have water. Looks like we have water running through the entire system all the way down to there. So that's great. And if we click start all, then we'll see trommel is on, shaker is on, conveyor belts on, and the container is on, and the duplex jigs are on. So that will feed that. That is turning, and our duplex jigs are working. All right, beautiful. So that is that. So I think what we're going to do now, that is basically the end of the tutorial. Um, but just for the interest sake, for those who, who want to see it all work, I'm going to dump a load of gravel into here. And um, we'll watch it run through the system real quick and we'll end it off there. Alright, so I have got a full load over here, just filled up with the excavator. We are going to back into our hopper system here, handbrake on. Lift that up. This will fill it up to a hundred percent. And I have run a little bit of dirt through the system already. There we go. Fantastic. And now we just need to turn everything on and watch the magic happen. There we go. All right. So everything nice and close together. Pump on and click start all. And there we go. That'll pull dirt out of there into these buckets the buckets will start dumping into there we found a pretty si a pretty good sized nugget there uh, which is great and there we go dirt dropping into there there's already some in there from the previous load that i did that is running down there going through our trommel and that is filling everything down there up beautifully and up here as well so that is basically how the system operates Everything goes in there. The big rocks drop off there. And normally you can see them drop off here. But um, doesn't look like there's too many big rocks in there. So um, the rest goes down there through the trommel. Drops down there. Goes through our grace. Goes through the duplex jig. And then goes through the little hog pan area down at the bottom here. So when you run out of dirt up there. You do want to turn the water off immediately. Because it will wash gold out of the system if you leave it running and there's no dirt in the system so yeah that is basically a tier 3 system so from here on in to go to tier 4 tier 5 it is basically a take one out put another one in type deal so this setup is going to stay exactly the same you're just going to have more advanced more efficient equipment and yeah, it's as simple as taking one piece out and replacing it with another one. So I won't be doing a tutorial on that. That is pretty self-explanatory. But that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And thanks for watching. So I will see you all next time.